Hi, I'm Andrew Scaglione with Radio Cloud. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn a little bit more about our 100% cloud-based automation platform. This video is gonna focus on our web-based voice tracking module, which in today's day and age, gives so much flexibility to jocks and on-air talent to produce their show, shift, or voice track for multiple stations in different markets, all from the comfort of a web browser. So let's dive into it. On our Radio Cloud platform, navigate to your local playlist and find a placeholder that enables you to open up the voice tracking production module. How you do this is use the jump to hour button in the top left of the screen, select any hour of the day you need to voice track from, we'll go with 7 a.m. in this instance, and find either a red network or brown local content placeholder, scroll over and press the microphone button. This opens up the web-based voice tracking module, again, completely browser-based. You can select different days to track in your calendar, different hours of the day, and then a list of the elements that need to be produced for that specific hour. Of course, you can upload a track that you produced locally, just using the FTP button right here. However, we feel it's much easier to give you the flexibility to do this on the go, any device, any time. Now, what you see in the web-based voice tracking module here is a microphone button, the previous song in the playlist, and the upcoming song in the playlist, but all you need is a space bar, and you need to click it four times to really get the workflow going. The first time is gonna start the outro of the previous song, as you can see right here. Second time is gonna start your mic recording, and you'll see the mic turn red. Third time is going to start the intro of the upcoming song, and you'll also see that intro or ramp or post begin to count down right here. And you'll also see my waveform being produced right up here above the microphone. The fourth click is going to stop the recording and the microphone will go back to being not on air. Then what happens is the envelope over here now contains the voice track. You see your waveform. And what you can do is using this in button and out button, you can set your in points and out points for anything you need to cut out. So if there's a little pause in the middle or a section you just wanna get rid of, you can set your points if you wanted to cut out this entire first part, you would set an end point pertaining to the beginning. And then if you wanted to cut out this last little bit, you could do that as well. You can set as many of these mix points as you want. And when you hit the save button, Radio Cloud uploads your track to the cloud and it saves it without these cutout sections. So it does a really nice job of reading the mix points that you produce. Now, this is the interface you would see if you're sending a voice track to one station, if you're tracking for multiple stations or a network, you would see something along these lines. And this interface allows you to choose whether to send the talk break that you produce to any network, to a specific music format. In this case, there's about eight stations running this format. You could send it to some stations running a different format, or if you really wanna keep it a local track, you could select just one station to send the voice track to. So it gives you the flexibility to be as local or as broad as you want with your voice tracks. So let's go back to the local playlist. Once it's saved and uploaded to the cloud, you see there's some text that appears underneath that placeholder. This is our speech to text function where we transcribe every voice track that you produce. So why do we do this, you ask? Well, it's to build up a stock of tracks in our voice track archive. So if we flip to the voice track archive, what you see is a new but very robust feature in which Radio Cloud reads your transcribed voice tracks, flags any local mentions, artist and song names, and stores them for your review. So for example, 1023 is a local tag, Bobby Brown, artist, my prerogative, title, on and on. And what happens ultimately is you build up a nice enough archive where in the future you can actually reuse certain of these evergreen tracks throughout your on-air shifts. So this is a great benefit when you're trying to work ahead or voice track multiple shifts for multiple stations, maybe even in different markets. The flip side of that is if the track is not reusable, you can delete it out of the archive so it never gets suggested again. For example, this track with Don Henley for the Boys of Summer Anytime Boys of Summer comes up on the playlist, this is evergreen enough where you won't have to produce a track again. If you click archive here, the system will suggest to you, do you wanna use this track from the archive to intro Don Henley, Boys of Summer? And you can say yes and save a little time when producing your shift. On the other hand, 
This is a recent ticket giveaway for a Billy Joel concert or an Elton John concert, and in that case, you'd probably hit dismiss because ultimately that concert's going to happen, and in the future, you're not going to want to accidentally reuse a ticket giveaway for a past show. So if we go back to the local playlist, another voice tracking feature on Radio Cloud is the ability to produce time and temperature checks, store them in an archive, and have the system pull the correct time or temperature depending on the time in the playlist. So you see a time check right here and a temperature check right underneath the weather element. So if we drop down the voice tracking module and go to this time announcements module, what we can do is enter in the time where you want a voice track. In this case, let's say our news report ends around 8.45. So if we enter in 8.45, it's going to give us the five minutes before and the five minutes after that time. So on some days, if the news ends a little earlier or a little later than normal, if you as a jock go in and record, hey, it's 8.40, that was the news, or it's 8.46, the weather's coming up next, you can record as many of these as you'd like, Frankly, you could do all 24-7, 365 if you want just to be safe. And you produce them in this very similar module to the voice tracking production module I showed you a little while ago. Save them, and then they're in the archive for the future. And Radio Cloud will pull the correct time depending on where it is in the playlist. Another neat feature of our voice tracking module is this shift schedule button where you can actually have a list of your jocks and assign them to the correct day parts and shifts each day. So what you see here is your announcer list on the left, a calendar of the week for, in this case, middle of June 2022, and an hour schedule of when this station actually voice tracks down on the left. So this is really handy if you have a change in the schedule or an on-air talent taking some time off. You can actually just drag and drop and change the schedule right in the software so all of your DJs and all of your programming department know who's voice tracking the right shift at the right time. So now that you have your DJs in the correct place, it's time to actually give them some content to talk about. And this is accessible through the program section of the voice tracking module right at the top here. So when you pull that up, it gives you on the left side a list of relevant news stories as compiled by the station. And you can click on them to pull up more of the content and maybe some pictures associated with that content. On the right, you have a grid, different talk breaks for each hour. In this case, there's four of them and the hours that the station actually voice tracks throughout the day. These content bits can be anything from Mick Fleetwood's 75th birthday to why asparagus can only be harvested in a certain window in the month of June. And just like the rest of the platform, it's all drag and drop, both from the left to the grid and to move around elements on the grid. So with all that in mind, the final piece to the voice tracking section is the status page. This enables you to see how well produced your voice tracks are for today and the next four days into the future. As you're looking at this screen, green means everything for the hour is all produced. Orange means some are done and some are still in production. Yellow signifies that nothing has been produced yet, while blue means that there actually aren't any voice tracks scheduled in that hour. What you can do is click on a specific hour and it's gonna pull up the transcriptions, the duration, and who produced that voice track. Another use is if you have multiple music formats running on the same network, what we can do is see how the jocks split up voice tracks for a specific hour with the ability to have some run on either music format and some on both. So say this jock is voice tracking for two different music formats and has five breaks or four breaks per hour total to do for each format. Instead of producing eight different voice tracks, they've shared this voice track, this one, and the first one for each network, and then done a specific one for music format one and a specific one for music format two here in this third voice track of the hour. So instead of producing eight different ones, this jock has saved a little time, produced five, and still is able to share that content across multiple music formats. And that really is the true power of the Radio Cloud voice tracking module. With Radio Cloud, we give you all the tools you need as a programmer and or air talent to plan, execute, and produce quality content from anywhere, at any time, on any device. 
All you need is an internet connection and a microphone to use our web-based voice tracking module. For more video content, tips and tricks of how to get the most out of our platform, head to our website, radio.cloud, and our social media pages. Thanks for tuning in.